everybody. Uh, I'm just doing a, I guess a quick video showcasing some of the performance of the games that I've been making cards for. Um, CPS2 games seem to be one of the more popular titles that people are asking about. And then f from that system specifically, the Dungeons and Dragons game. So I'm gonna just go ahead and fire up both of those games so that you can see kind of how they run. A lot of people are still um, on the fence on on actually uh, buying the Arcade Stick Pro because they're not really sure how the games run. Now, I'll tell you right now is that there's a lot better ways to play arcade games than the Arcade Stick Pro. Arcade Stick Pro is if you know, you're really into uh, Neo Geo, um, or you like the stick for some reason. Uh, but, I mean, there's Mr. Even Raspberry Pi, even the PlayStation One uh, Classic does a tremendous job of running uh, uh, different uh, arcade emulation. I mean, they even do. Um, I think it does Dreamcast and all kinds of other stuff. But uh, anyway, so if this is your only alternative or this is your you're, you're looking to get this system so that it can be your emulation your one-stop emulation system I'd say don't do it uh, but if you have other reasons for getting it like you like the stick you're into Neo Geo um, you're okay with it doing other things but Neo Geo is like your priority uh, then then yeah it's cool man it's, it does it it's pretty cool it's a nice little one-stop shop the only thing that's really annoying is you know, running a uh, an HDMI cable from the from the stick, and then you're having to power it up. I mean, you could use a power brick to kind of keep it going, but that part of it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> but um, but it's I mean it's a cool system. I I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun making these cards and releasing them. But um, let's go ahead and get into these games. So we have two games. Um, as far as Dungeons and Dragons go, it's this one, The Shadow Over Mystera and uh, Tower of Doom. So we're going to start with this one first, see how it runs. Uh, let's check it out. I'll try to turn up the volume too so you can hear it, because sound seems to be one of the issues with a lot of the games. I'm pretty sure CPS2 all run really, really well. say that was successful. <laughs> so you can see kind of the screens cut off, um, but it, uh, going into the settings, God, man, this is one of the most annoying things about um, the arcade games that run through the emulator. If you try to adjust the screen size, um, I mean, that's that's as best as you'll get it. That's the only way you're going to get it to actually listen to you if on the image um, you're running one of these scan lines. So if you do, if you just do like pixel scaling, watch what happens. It's going to blow it all up. That's, it's full screen. <laughs> So you see, it it, uh, it changes the whole screen, uh, the aspect ratio, which you can't you can't mess with it. So if I go to screen size, it's already set 
to, to be the correct uh, rate, you know aspect ratio. Um, but because I have the image set to pixel scaling, it automatically just uh, converts it to a full screen, which is there, um, which is a little annoying, but you get to see the entire screen. Like you'll get to see the, you know, the, um, the character profile, their stats and stuff. It'll show up. <laughs> with the um, if I go to like let's say horizontal uh, scan lines and then I just this is the only thing I change watch what happens to the screen let's see how some of the characters are spot on I'm sure that's something that I can adjust with my TV but it's not, I'm not going to bother this seems to run pretty well um I adjust the controller settings. Oh crap, I'm doing the like, uh, go back. Uh, okay, save settings. Go back. Change the image, pixel scaling, back, screen size. That's just to the hell of it. So that's full screen. Go back, screen size, keep it full screen, but change the image. Change the image to. Screen size is still full screen. See if it listened. It did not. Screen size. Oh yeah, that's so that stayed the same. So let's do that. Shrink it in. Change the image to pixel scaling. Go back. Nope. Let's go back one more time. Right, screen size. Do that. Go back. New image. Smooth scaling probably just since then because that's kind of like what it does. Uh, let's see. Screen size, change on the screen size. But that's with smooth scaling. Which I think, like on the scan lines, it already automatically gives it like a smooth, uh, that smooth filter. Um, so what was I doing? Okay, an image, pixel scan. That's the only thing I'm changing. It's like that. It goes back to that. Screen size. So you can tell there's some frustrations with the uh, screen settings with arcade games that are or non Neo Geo arcade games. Um, so let's go ahead and exit. And let's try running the other Dungeons and Dragons. to put some coins in this one just to see if it 
has a startup sequence, at least with audio. Yeah, there's no audio here, so I gotta put some points in. Welcome to the D and D world. Welcome to the D and D world. Welcome to the D and D world. I'm not gonna push start. Welcome to the D and D world. So, anyway, the, uh, so the issue is, uh, in order for you to get the right aspect ratio, you either have to use the smooth scaling filter, which most folks don't really like that very much, or you have to run um, one of the scan lines, which still, I think, uses a smooth scaler or a smooth filter, a smoothing filter. Um, so you lose a little control obviously. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to do anything, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up.
settings and get it just the way you want it but it looks all right i mean it looks good um well, that's pretty cool uh since we're here I mean, those, again those were the two main ones that i've had a lot of folks ask for or ask how they run um so we've got we got x for street fighter there's, some, there's a shooter in there oh, yeah, that's some pro gear See how pro gear runs. I mean, I've already played it, but so you can check it out. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Check it out one more time. Sorry. Here we go.
let's see, um, other, who knows that, Mars Matrix, uh, that seems kind of like an intensive game, graphics and stuff. I see that the intro pops up on its own. Most of them you need to have coins in order to get an intro. <laughs> See what the hell's going on. Did I push something? Look, 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 look. Oh, I did something. Look. Again though, nothing. And then um, X Y Z. What the hell were the other ones? Nothing there. There. No. button turned off the volume for me and I, I don't know what the hell I did to turn it back on I'm gonna say that again just to sort of turns it down okay and I push it again turned it off or low okay and then so like it was like the volume so let's get louder right, 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 right. so see every question 
push, turns it down a little bit, and then D, turns it up. Push of C was bringing down the volume, and B would turn it back up when nothing's mapped to that game. Like if the game doesn't have anything mapped to it. Uh, let's see what happens with like Marvel versus Capcom. I have to map the buttons to it too. A lot of. to see if that volume thing comes up again because this game actually uses all six buttons so let's see what happens with the other ones I have no idea uh, so that was that let's check out Alien vs Predator 
This will be the last game. It's already, I'm already at 30 minutes. And the likelihood of anybody watching this whole thing is kind of pretty low. So here we go. Last game. I gotta put coins, I guess. Let's get the audio. Time to hunt. Time, time, time to time to hunt. If I do that, I don't think it's gonna give me the, that intro. Let's see. I'm just gonna leave it alone. See if it does anything. If it goes into that attract mode. I think that was it in the beginning. Just you don't get audio until you put coins in, which sucks. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, let me go. Controller settings. Save it. Eh, just for shits and giggles. Game image. Pixel scaling. Go back. Screen size. Infected. Let's go there. Just a little demonstration of uh, some of the games running, the CPS2 games running on the Arcade Stick Pro. Um, apparently Dungeons & Dragons seems to do pretty well. I think all of the games for CPS2 seem to do well. 
Um, I did run into that issue with Mars Matrix, uh, but I kind of figured it out. The C button was turning down the volume and the B button was turning it up. So that was kind of strange. Uh, I don't know if that was a feature in the game where you could actually screw around with the volume, um, but I, I doubt it. Um, but it looks like most of the CPS2 games seem to run, but I do know that Neo Geo runs well, CPS1, CPS2, and even the CPS3 games seem to run pretty well. It's the other stuff that's been, I've been kind of noticing some issues like the shooter, the games from the shooter pack, uh, the beat em up pack that I just released. Um, a lot of those games have issues with the sound. I think the, 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 the guys that actually did the, uh, I guess the development for Final Burn were really concentrating on these particular systems. And then like all these other games started kind of just filtering in where they just kind of converted some of the source code or the um, whatever it's called for uh, main and they just kind of brought it into Final Burn and, and kind of tweaked it. And then throughout the years, uh, they've they've done some tweaks. I know that there's some particular members that, that really concentrate on the sound and things like that. The particular version of Final Burn, I'm not sure which one they're using. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it's an older version and that's why we're having a lot of these issues with the sound on uh, a lot of these games. Um, but I mean, there's still a lot of games to enjoy uh, and games that you normally shouldn't or wouldn't be able to play on, on the Arcade Stick Pro. Um, so, I mean, that's a bonus. So if you are interested in getting this, the, the stick, um, I mean, you do have some options with the hack. Uh, and then now you have some cool, uh, you know, labels uh, or title cards that kind of help you sift through your collection that look a lot nicer than, than, the, uh, than what what's originally uh, available with the hack uh, but again that's just you know that's that's just uh, you know aesthetics right it's not really about the actual games or getting into it but I mean a lot of the interface is huge with a lot of people that are into emulation so um, just remember that I mean you, you always have this option and all these all of these cards are downloadable um, through a link that I have on each of the the, uh, videos that I've posted so take a look at the description again if you have any questions or um, any games that you want me to kind of feature or uh, make cards for just you know send me a comment on my latest videos um, but I, I check them out all the time um, also you know subscribe and uh, to and do that bell thing to get your notifications only if you want to know what's going on and the updates because um, generally I just post up new videos so uh, whenever I have something done but anyway just thought you know for those of you that have been wanting to take a look at some of the emulation on these on this system uh, and how they they run um, this was that's what this was all about this was a lengthy one so I don't know how long um, how long you stuck around but uh, anyways see you next time man all right I'm not editing this crap